While the work goes on here, training is going on at home, of course, for Canada's athletes hoping to do well here in Rio. I'm going to introduce you to one of Canada's sprinters today. His name is Gavin Smelly. You may remember him from four years ago in London. He was on that 4x100 relay team, thought they'd won a medal, only to be disqualified. It was heartbreak. Well, he's training to make sure that he gets back on track this time. Let's meet him this morning. Yes, Gavin Smelly, we can see you. Nothing um, beats the Olympic Games, you know. Um, once, twice, even three times, you know, I'd wish I could go to. But uh, gearing up for Rio would be my second win, and I'm very excited for it, you know, just to see that um, opening ceremony again and just get to run in front of that crowd. This is an amazing feeling. You had that taste in London. You want it again. I want it again. I'm hungry. <laughs> Are you hungry? Do you see yourself, imagine Rio, do you see yourself in the 100 meters, you know, racing yourself, you see yourself as part of the Olymp uh, of the uh, relay team. I definitely, um, I feel like on uh, the shape I'm in right now, I definitely feel like I would be in that 100 meter, um, and also as well as the relay. And the relay, we're definitely looking forward to um, do very well. You know, maybe a different color this time because um, I know we came in the bronze medal. At the position. World Championships in Beijing. Yeah, yeah exactly. So. Well, in 2012, you had all that pain of the I disqualification. Know, I know. And it's still redemption. You know what? Uh, and we're, we're, we're very hungry. We're still, you know, we're starving inside. So we're going to get, get that medal back. You know, so can you still time. tap into that feeling how it must have been a heartbreak at that time? You can still tap into that uh, as a motivation for You know what? Again. Every time I hear the Olympic Games, that rings a bell first. Um, it comes up that moment I felt uh, so devastated, like, um, everything is just lost in my life, like, you know, just just a nightmare, pretty much. And, you know, you just felt like there's no, no way, you know, anything could make you happy or be back to actually motivate you to do another one, you know, or feel that way again. Um, but the moment the, the family, the friends, the coaches, the IST team, everybody just wandered around and not to mention um, Canada, you know, was there to support us and they definitely uh, helped to bring me back, motivate me, and just keep me staying hungry and just to go get that medal back in Rio. It's incredible to me because when the games roll around for Rio, you'll be 30, right? I know, yes. You're the veteran of the team. Exactly, exactly. But tell me about that. I mean, you're a sprinter, so you're always racing the clock. But yeah. as an athlete, as an elite athlete, are you sort of also racing the clock in your own career? I mean, are you aware of you better get it done this time? This time, yeah. Well, definitely. Uh, this is no, like, one of them things where, uh, you know, I'm young and I'm, you know, fresh. Like I, I experienced so much already, and you know, I'm taking everything that I learned each year um, to this particular game um, at the Olympics in Rio. Um, and I just feel like my body every year is just getting faster and faster for some reason. I don't know. Last year, you know, I had a personal best again. You know, at at age 20. How do you get the body to give you even more speed it's, it's, when it probably wants to it's slow phenomenal. down? It's phenomenal. You know, it's phenomenal. Eating different is a big thing for me. Um, I, as, as a young athlete and stuff, I used to get away with certain things, but now when you get older, you can't eat certain certain things anymore. And then you, your appetite too, it doesn't allow you to eat it anyways. And I think that that's one of the um, big things that, that, you know, is gonna make a big impact in my life as far as uh, doing these little things, you know, sleeping right, you know, stay away from a lot of distractions, stuff like that. I'm strong mentally, especially uh, planning ahead like it's the Olympic Games. I do a lot of simulation, like in practice and stuff, I will just imagine I'm front in front of a big crowd and just train as if like I'm running against, um, you know, these competitors and, you know, so like when I get out. Like Bolts in the next exactly, lane or something exactly. like that. So when I get out there, everything is mentally just easy on me, you know, it might, you know, be a little bit up here with nervousness, but you know, you're not going to be overboard. For those 10 seconds. What's it like in your head? You probably think about, uh, you know, a lot of things at the moment, but you just want to slim it down to just one or two things, you know, which is just eyes on the prize, focus on getting through that line, doing everything correct during the races. But you're going to definitely think, like, what if I actually win this race? Or what if, when I win this race, what's going to come? I was going to yeah. say, when I'm going to yeah, win yeah, this yeah, race. Yeah, exactly. So then on that point, finish this sentence for me. My Olympic dream for Rio is? To be a medalist. I definitely want to get out of that podium and just hear that Canadian anthem and so that Canada could be proud of me and just, you know, welcome me home when I bring back that medal.